So in FC25, you can make your own club. So let's have a look. So what you want to do is go into the manager career mode and you want to manage a career. Pretty self-explanatory, but this is where you can obviously make your own club as well. So we can either create a new manager or play as a real one. So obviously, if I was to go for a real manager, you unfortunately uh, will go for Man U. But you can create your own club just underneath. You can do this with a creative manager as well, which probably would be better because then you wouldn't be taking a manager away from a club. I don't know actually what happens to the other side. So let's just have a run through. So you've got club name, nickname, short name, and abbreviation that you can all go for. You then will have to replace a team that you're going into. So, for instance, if we wanted to do it in England, you can obviously choose between the four-tier division. If you wanted to go Denmark, you obviously got Superliga, and you've got all of the other ones that you can go with, and you can replace them wherever. Now, obviously, when it comes to replacing a team, if you are wanting to be a kind of transfer manager, so, for instance, you want to go and do the Chelsea job, there's not really a point having a created club for that because you would take away. But regardless, so for instance, we go and get rid of Bari in the second division of the Serie B. Then if we want to have our kind of neighbours, we'll have Sampdoria as our rivals. The customised kit could be better. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like it is predominantly very basic in terms of what you can actually do. You have your primary design, uh, primary color, sorry, secondary color, t uh, tertiary color, and then obviously the name and number. So it's it's just very, very bog standard when it comes to it. Like there's not a crazy amount that you can do with it. And then you've obviously got all of the different designs. So if I go into white so you can see, you've obviously got stripes, the standard. There's a few different patterns. Now, there is definitely a, a fair couple more designs that you can go for, but it's not as if you could choose the branding. You can't choose anything like that. You can't make it yourself, which I think may be very, almost uh, very picky. But I, I just think if you're going to have full design of a club, that would be really, really cool to make. Now, you can do the same for your crest. Again, it's the exact same as what we've seen in previous years. Um, you've obviously got a shape, and they will give you some standard designs. Now, in this, you only have the one color to go with. Um, again, very bog standard. And then when it comes to the stadium, you get uh, to be able to make slightly some alterations. You can obviously go ahead and choose uh, a fully made stadium already but you can change the stands the pitch the atmosphere you can kind of customize it to some extent once you've done that you can then obviously make your squad so you can make it as high as you want so for instance you can make it a five-star team with veterans you can make it with very young players and you can see you can go all the way up to 92s and 91s in that starting attack or you can make it as hard as you want you can literally go with the absolute bog standard of a half a star very young and you can give yourself whatever transfer budget you want you can give yourself a lot of zeros or not so many zeros. When it comes to the board expectations, you have a few different ones that you can go with. Obviously, you've got small club, youth focus, domestic. You got a few different ones where you can go with the custom and you can kind of think, okay, well, I don't really want to do domestic success to start with, but maybe we can make a bit of a run in the continental. We could maybe be very good on the budget. We could be very critical with it. You can make a few different things across that. And then finally, you have got the kind of start that you can make your own team. Now, this is creative players to bring in anybody that is already made so for instance if you wanted to bring a Messi to your club for instance you will have to obviously buy them off the market you could necessarily make somebody a Messi um, you obviously have got the same animations and and appearances that you can change like a creative player but you can do it with everybody you can also do ahead and and kind of change the attacking position and also what stats they've got also so there is a lot of customizability on this if you wanted to make like a a 2005 man you you could definitely do it you can you it take you a lot of time not gonna lie but you could definitely do it and, and replace man you with it it won't be unfortunately against any of the old players but your team most definitely would be in there once you're happy with all of that you can advance through and you'll go into your career settings which would be just the same as if you was doing a full career mode anyway and that is how you create a club